Hi, welcome to AnimalSmith.com. This is the Maxpedition Condor 2 backpack. It's a little smaller than our Vulture 2, but larger than our Falcon backpack. This is a nice little backpack. It doesn't have a ton of little pockets in here, but it's just the right size for a little day pack or a quick and dirty 72-hour uh, kit. It has 1,950 cubic inches of space and has plenty of Molly and Alice attachments so you can attach extra gears, pockets, and other accessories to the outside of the bag. So let's go ahead and open it up. It has a Y strap right here in order to keep everything secure. And on this side, on each side of the bag, there's an E clip. Actually, there's, there's four E clips. There's two on each side for cinching down gear in here if you're not using the full capacity of the bag. In order to get inside the bag itself and actually dig into it, you want to detach these two here to open it. And inside the bag, as you can see, you have a pocket here for putting gear that you need to grab right away. And you have a see-through mesh bag in the back. It's padded. For your back so you don't have stuff poking at you when you have this thing on. You have a small outside pocket here. And it's just a plain pocket. There's no extra little pockets on the inside of it. But it has two Molly attachment points on the outside of it. Now this pocket here More of an admin pocket. Has a thing for your keys, a spot for a little notebook, pens, map pens are great in here if you guys are using topographical maps. And it has small attachments on the outside and points for putting Alice gear. If you look on the side of the pack, You have plenty of attachments throughout this bag to attach whatever gear you might need on here. Be careful, you can overload these things pretty good. This is not a frame pack, it should be used as one. And the other side, opposite side of the, of the bag has identical all attachment points on there. Now to the part that attached to you itself. It has a spot for a hydration reservoir and two drain grommets here in case it bursts. There's two Velcro strips in here that allow you to put Velcro attachments to your water bladder itself so you can keep control of where it sits. And there's a nice pad here to keep you and your water bladder insulated from each other. On top of the bag you have a drag handle and a velcro access hole here for your drinking tube. Your drinking tube can be attached to either side to the right or the left strap. Makes no difference. Now what differentiates this from the Vulture 2 backpack there's no quick breakaway on the shoulder straps itself. Although it does have a chest strap and a waist belt that you can adjust to, to individual size. And there's plenty of room on these straps so even the largest person out there can adapt this to themselves. It's really a nice little backpack. It's about the right size, I think, for a day hike or if you want to keep a 72-hour kit in the back of your car, you just grab it and go. Like I said, you can attach other things out here. One of the bags I think would be perfect for this is the M4 pouch, where you can keep a canteen or your canteen cup or survival kit, anything you like. The bottom of the Condor 2 backpack also has this rubberized textured
panel on here. So if you take your pack, drop it on the ground and it's wet, it's not gonna soak through and get your gear wet. And like everything else on here has adjustments at every angle in order to secure your gear and keep it from rattling and keep it nice and quiet when you're running through the field. It's a good backpack for hunting.